Hello there and welcome to the Bicycle Diaries and welcome to today's ride it's not going to be particularly long maybe 40 kilometers or so but it's going to be quite tough I'm currently climbing Edney's Lane and then I'll go up what I call Scotland Lane uh, over the ridge there down Old Winchester Hill and then back up Mercury quite a lot of climbing today A little bit strange I can feel things stinging my face my first thoughts are rain but I can't see any raindrops on the road so must be tiny little insects very unusual there Normally at that little crossroads there by the bat and ball I would turn left and start descending down the hill into the village of Hamilton but instead I've gone straight over and this is now the climb of what I call Scotland Lane I'm sure it's called something else but uh, yeah that's, that's the name that I know it by I haven't been up here in a while uh, probably three years at the very least it's quite a toughie it's it's about two and a half kilometers long with an average gradient I would say of about six seven percent and it parallels the, the one of the mercury climbs up from Clanfield up to the top of HMS Mercury there This is where having a power meter comes in quite handy because it helps me kind of gauge my effort up here. Even though I'm chugging away up here at like 7%, 11% and it's tough, I know that I can do it because I've climbed its steeper cousin just over the back there, Harvesting Lane but it's like 15%, 7%, 11% is actually pretty easy now although it's still pretty tough if you know what I mean I've just stopped here very briefly because I've had a couple of people comment on the channel that they've been a little bit disappointed that I've not ridden up to HMS Mercury um, it used to be the old Royal Navy School of Communications I believe um, although officially it's a boat we're about 20 kilometers from the sea and this is all that's left of it now I think it's um it's a little bit before my time I think it closed down in 1993 and I would imagine that there were lots of buildings on this site here but as you can see there's nothing there at the moment there's some houses uh, very expensive houses I may add but um, that's about it apart from the sustainability center which is just down here we'll just go down and have a quick look and I think that might have been part of the HMS Mercury complex as well well here I am at the sustainability centre it looks like there's some sort of maybe an old guard house or gatehouse or something and some 
buildings over the back there it's now like I say the sustainability center uh, there's a, a natural burial site up here and a very nice organic cafe if you're into that sort of thing so I'm just riding along this narrow ridge now and I'm actually at one of the highest points in Hampshire I'm normally coming the other way uh, after just climbing Old Winchester Hill but we're going to go down it today to the right of me I've got uh, stunning views of the South Downs and to the left of me I can see the sea and in the distance the Isle of Wight Like I say, I'm normally riding along this road in the opposite direction and uh, I normally think that I'm not really getting any assistance from the wind but if the wind is normally as strong as it is today and blowing in the same direction then it really must be giving me quite a push I'm certainly finding it hard going this way Old Winchester Hill is a fantastic descent but a mental note to myself never do it again on a very cold spring day with a full-on headwind I'm just riding now between the two villages of East Meon and West Meon and the Meon's actually a little river that flows over chalk all these downs around me are chalk and back in the day it was the ideal place for growing watercress and that's exactly what they did here they've got watercress beds to this day and because it's also uh, flowing over chalk and the water is very clean it's the only place in the world outside of Japan that wasabi grows I must admit the weather today has surprised me slightly when I left the house it was reasonably sunny and about nine degrees Celsius but the temperatures definitely dropped and it's now about five degrees Celsius and feeling really cold in this very strong wind I'm jolly glad I've got a big climb coming up to warm me up Well, that's the village of East Meon and now the climb back up to Mercury starts and it's uh, it's about three kilometers two and a half three kilometers and it's starting straight away already I'm at like one percent and it just gets harder and harder and harder until we get to the top there we go that's the climb of mercury done and again it probably has some road name 
you won't find it on a map marked as mercury it's just what us local cyclists call it and obviously because it goes up to the old royal navy uh, school of communications there it's pretty steep um, according to my career it maxed out at about 13 percent and yeah it really did sort of puff me out towards the top there Well, that's a bit weird, I have to say. Got to the top of Mercury there, went to start the descent, and my GoPro on the front of the bike that I record the, uh, the bike shots failed, and the hammerhead failed as well at exactly the same time. So, ooh, something spooky. Almost home now and cycling into a full-on headwind so yeah be good to get back have a cup of tea and stuff this is only my second ride of the week I've been a bit lazy I've lost a little bit of motivation I don't know why it might just be to do with the weather because it's been very wet and windy all week but the other ride that I did do this week was quite long 55 k's and uh, it uh, did almost the reverse of the route that I've just done although I did go out to Bishop's Waltham and climb up um, Beacon Hill and Old Winchester Hill so it was quite a longish ride and I quite enjoyed it so yeah, not sure why I lost motivation really apart from the weather of course That was rather unfortunate that the GoPro failed on me because as you probably see in the vlog itself there are very few forward facing shots of the road so that's why this particular one looks slightly different. Hopefully normal service will be resumed next week when I get the card working again. All in all it wasn't a bad ride at 40 kilometers, although it was very cold and very windy. And that brings this week's totals to, I've ridden 94 kilometers, I've got four hours and 26 minutes of seat time, and I've climbed 1,045 meters. Bringing the year's total so far to, I've ridden 1,278 kilometers, I've got 56 hours of seat time, and I've climbed 11,988 meters. The weather next week is looking absolutely glorious. The forecast is for sun and temperatures of up to 25 degrees Celsius, which is absolutely extraordinary. Hopefully it will deliver on that, and if it does, I'll probably be going out every single day, even if it's just to ride 20, 25 kilometers and enjoy the weather. Hopefully that will build my seat time and my distance up and make up for the rather short week that I had this week due to the wind and the rain. Thanks for watching.